the writer's block. A writer does not have blank white pages in his own. That is far from the truth, he often mumbled to himself. If a writer does not have a blank white page, on what are they writing then? At those times when he would run out of ideas, he would question his ability to scrupulously channel his creative energy. And oftentimes, in the pursuit of channeling that energy, he would lose himself to the world of a consumer. And when you are on the end of the consumer, everything simply seems so easy and beautiful. And that is how he would often be led away in this world full of distractions to doing things he had never desired to do in the first place. But, as they often say, a writer can never run out, run out of ideas. They always have something or the other to talk about, to write about, to mourn about, to critique about, to introspect. For him, that thing was another human. It's funny how a fellow human being can spark some sort of interest in the writer. That another human being can ignite so much energy within them. Energy which he did not know actually existed in reality. And there he was, sitting in the corner, hammering inside his head looking for thoughts and puzzles that he could bridge to reality. However, that one person with her thick and dark hairs and the smile that spanned perfectly between her two cheeks and eyes that harbored an ocean of emotions waiting to be discovered by adventurous travelers wishing to dive deep into its beauty cast her spell on our writer from running inside his labyrinth of thoughts something that no stream of realism can ever comprehend emerged the soul of what was to become revolutionary. A woman he had never spoken to, whose voice he had never heard, whose arms he had never touched and whose skin he had never tasted, dropped from heaven like an angel and that writer, some piece of work you can call him, wrote thousands of words, words that were spoken by that begrudgingly caged human inside him. And that human who had for so long desired liberty had destroyed its chains and had surfaced in reality, creating strings of words that were going to define an entire generation.